Welcome back. This is Mathematics in the Modern World, Chapter 2, Mathematics as a Tool, Part 1. We will continue discussing the Lesson 4, Data Management. This is your instructor, Sir Arves. Previously, we had explored the basic statistical concepts. Now, we will dig deeper to the heart of the data set, and that is Measures of Essential Tendency, Lesson Coverage 2. A measure of essential tendency is a summary statistic that represents the center point or typical value of a data set. These measures indicate where most values in a distribution fall and are also referred to as the central location of a distribution. You can think of it as a tendency of the data to cluster around the middle value. There are three measures of central tendency that I'll be discussing today. And these are the mean, the median, and the mode. We will start with the mean. There are two types of mean that I will be introducing today. The first one is the arithmetic mean. Arithmetic mean is the most common measure of central tendency. It is obtained by summing up the scores in a given data set and then divide the results by the number of scores in that data set. Weighted mean, on the other hand, is a variation of mean that gives weights to each scores. We multiply these weights to their corresponding scores and later get their average. Here we have the formula in finding the arithmetic mean. x bar equals summation of x over n, where x bar is the arithmetic mean. Summation of x is the sum of all scores in the data set. n is the total number of scores in the data set. Consider the data set with seven scores, x sub 4, x sub 1, x sub 7, x sub 5, x sub 6, x sub 3, and x sub 2. How do we get the mean? By using the formula, remember that we only add the scores. Afterwards, we divide it by the number of scores in the data set. That is, x sub 4 plus x sub 1 plus x sub 7 plus x sub 5 plus x sub 6 plus x sub 3 plus x sub 2 all over 7. 7 because there are 7 scores in the data set. Example, consider the data set of the ages of the 7 players in a basketball team. Solve for the measure of central tendency. 24, 22, 21, 20, 21, 25, 21. These are their ages. To obtain the mean, we are going to use the formula that is x bar is equal to the summation of x all over n. Summation of x means you add all the scores all over 7 because there are 7 scores. Adding up all the scores, you will get 154. Divided by 7, you will obtain 22. Therefore, the mean of these scores is 22. Now, we have the formula for the weighted mean. Wx bar is equal to the summation of xw all over 
the summation of W, where Wx bar is the weighted mean. Summation of xw is the sum of all products of the scores and their weights. Summation of w is the sum of all weights in the data set. Consider the following scores. Only this time, each score will have corresponding weights. Now, we will gonna multiply each scores to their corresponding weights and we will obtain the following. After multiplying the scores with their weights, we then add all of them divided by the number of products. Now we obtain the weighted mean. Example, consider the data set of the grades and credit units of a certain student. Compute the average. From the given grades 1 1.5, 1 1.4, 2.0, 1 1.7, 1 1.9, 1 1.2, with their corresponding credit units 5, 3, 3, 3, 3, 2, for a total of 19 credit units. First, we will gonna multiply the grades with their corresponding credit units, and you will obtain the products of 7.5, 4.2, 6.0, 1.7, 1.9, 1.2, with a total of 30.9. We then make use of the formula. Weighted mean is equal to the sum of the product of x and w all over w. The sum of x and w is 7.5 plus 4.2 plus 6.0 and so on until 2.4 all over 5.0 plus 3.0 plus 3.0 until plus 2.0 you will then get 30.9 divided by 19 and your answer is 1.62 six three and that will become your weighted mean the next on the list is the median the median is the centermost value of the data set but before you obtain the median you must arrange the data set in numerical order that is ascending or descending. Then you can use the formula in finding the location of the median. Equals n plus 1 all over 2, wherein n is the total number of scores in the data set. You have to take note that the result is just the location. You still have to find the value. Considering the same example previously, we have x sub 4, x sub 1, x sub 7, x sub 5, x sub 6, x sub 3, and x sub 2. Do not forget that you have to arrange them in numerical order. Now that the data has been arranged in numerical order, it is easy for us to identify which is the centermost value. And that is x sub 4. However, you may make use the formula. That is, the location of the median is equal to 
n plus 1 over 2. There are 7 scores plus 1 over 2, that is 8 over 2, or 4. This suggests that the fourth value is the median. How about if there are even number of scores? The median is found in between x sub 4 and x sub 5. Making use of the formula, location of, of the median is equal to m plus 1 over 2, 8 plus 1 over 2 is equal to 9 over 2, or 4.5. This suggests that the median is the average of the fourth and the fifth value. Now, let's apply these in the example. Consider the data set of the ages of the seven players in a basketball team. What will be the median? The median is 21. How about if we add another number? What will be the median? The median is in between 21 and 22, and that is 21.5. How about we make use of the formula? Location of the median is equal to n plus 1 over 2. There are 7 scores plus 1 all over 2 is 8 over 2. That is 4. This suggests that the median is the fourth value, which is 21. The third measure of central tendency is the mode. The mode is the most frequently occurring value. Take note, just identify the value that is occurring the most. If the mode is just one number, it is unimodal. If there are two numbers, they are bimodal. If there are three numbers, they are trimodal. If there are plenty, they are multimodal. But if there is no repeating numbers, then the data set has no mode. It is not zero because zero is still a score. Consider the given x sub 4, x sub 3, x sub 5, x sub 1, x sub 3, x sub 2, x sub 3, and x sub 2. Though x sub 2 is repeating twice, we can easily identify that x sub 3 is frequently repeating. That makes us decide that x sub 3 is our mode. Now, if you were gonna arrange them in numerical order, then it would be easier for you to identify the mode. Looking back on the example of the seven players in a basketball team with their corresponding ages, it is easier for us to identify the mode, and that is 21. Seems easy, right? So, in this given, the mean, the median, and the mode 
are as follows. The mean is 22, the median is 21, and the mode is 21. It's now time for you to try in a wider data set. The data shows the number of touchdown passes thrown by each of the 31 teams in the National Football League in 2000 season. What will be the mean, the median, and the mode? You may pause the video for you to answer. The answers are the mean 20.45, the median 20, and the mode is 18. Did you get it right? Great! There you have it, the measures of central tendency, the mean, the median, and the mode. Hope that you will be with me again as we discuss the lesson coverage 3. That's all for today. This is your presenter, Sir Arves. Bye!